The camp was a huge thing for the town. Oh yeah, 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 this was an army town. And the, the summer training camps went on, I think, I've got a date, summer camp. To stray back into the 30s, there were distinguished persons at camp. Because of impending war clouds, I'm talking second war. Yeah. Most of the players from the Toronto Maple Leafs came for their military training. I remember Red Horner, Pep Kelly, Hap Day. But I've got here, the camp, for years the camp provided church parades down King Street. The biggest draw may have been the Highland Regiment. As a young child, I used to watch to watch them practicing the, the pipes in their bare feet out on the commons. They were a tough bunch. Yeah, the, the Kelties is, is what we call them. They, they did, the, in the morning, they'd get out on the commons. Out, out. We had that camp out there until, well, I've, I've got a date for that, but 50s probably. What they had was a summer militia, and they were a very good, uh, you know, they were good for the town. They, they spent money here. They married our girls, or not married them, as the case may have been. <laughs> yeah, the camp was important, and the, the military parade, the church parade, that was, that was wonderful. And the camp was just part of the town enough so that, that you felt you were in a military town. And I got a bit of old England rubbed off on me too, you know. And actually, the, the camp was the life of the town at that time.